Hello, it is Direct Mail Monday. There we go. It is Direct Mail Monday, January 7th, 2018. Steve Cypress here. And I did not receive a lot of mail over the past week. You know, you had the holidays and plus a lot of businesses, especially retail, their biggest time of year is that fourth quarter, end of the year. They gear up and they're selling stuff like crazy and perhaps they are remiss in continuing to do selling and marketing at the beginning of the new year. In fact, a lot of companies looks like they just haven't started yet because this is pretty much all I got other than, you know, personal mail. Uh, so, uh, first of all, just share the few, the bulk mailer things that these are good opportunities. We got a money mailer, we got a Val pack, and we got one of these discount, full of discount flyer things. You know, used to get it as an insert in the Sunday paper. Uh, now it comes freestanding. Often, uh, these are published by the local uh, newspaper. Anyway, um, these there's good opportunities. You can make tons of money in here. I've helped clients and still help people that make a ton of money with this stuff. But unfortunately, as with all sales and marketing and advertising, most business owners do it incredibly horribly wrong. And such a shame to see they just basically are throwing their money away. And then complaining even worse. They just complain, oh, that never works. And they don't, they don't ever look in the mirror and go, gee, what did I do wrong that I didn't make that work? And they don't attempt to even use it ever again because they just claim it doesn't work. Now I'm going to open up the Val Pack. I don't know if they're still doing it, but I remember the promotion they were running last year where in like, you know, one in a bazillion of these had like a hundred dollar bill or a hundred dollar gift card or something. And so I just thought that a hundred dollars would matter, uh, but it would just be awesome especially on a live video to open this up and boom, like a Willy Wonka golden ticket. I don't know what it would look like, so I'm not really going to go through all these to see. Oh, I do love this one. Rhino of the day. There they are, the three rhinos at the Wildlife World on the west side of Phoenix. Got to get over there and uh, love the rhinos. So I'll keep that one. Let's ditch the rest. Ditch the money mailer. Already ditched the flyer full of crummy stuff that leaves two pieces and uh, I like this one now my beautiful wife Michelle started doing Pilates a month or two ago I don't know if this is the, the local club that she goes to but I like what they're doing here first of all they're using an outrageous photo here of an amputee and they're saying everybody needs Pilates everybody needs Pilates and that ought to take away a lot of excuses of people going well I don't need it because you know I don't know. My legs hurt. So if your legs hurt. How about not having a leg? Okay. So, and or or maybe oh, I'm not limber. You know, not limber. How about having a metal leg? The exact uh, definition of not limber, and he can still do Pilates and loves it. So, and it gets attention, and people are like, is that really a an amputee? Or what gets attention? So, good job. Uh, one of my early uh, mentors in my direct marketing days, uh, Bill Glazer, would would call this outrageous marketing, an outrageous photo. You would think it'd be more like <coughs> the typical photo on the back. The woman doing Pilates with the help of another woman. Not only is this a guy, that's why I looked at it. I even noticed the amputation at first. I just saw it's a guy and thought like, wow, that's interesting. And it's smart of them to use a, a bald guy. So it did stand out right away. I was like, that's a guy. Otherwise, if you had hair, I might, might not have given it a second look. And then I saw the amputee, and I said, like, wow, love it. They're getting attention. and But then what I like is the irresistible offer, $0 enrollment. I don't know if my beautiful wife, Michelle, had a $0 enrollment or a free trial or whatever, but I think she's paying 100 something a month or whatever. So to have a free enrollment, $0 enrollment, a free intro class to start the year off right and book online or contact, or blah, blah, blah. But I like the free intro class, the zero enrollment. So in other words, Come give it a shot. And, uh, you know, there's almost every single business on earth ought to be able to do this, something like this, a loss leader type of thing where you don't have to sell your service. My favorite way to sell, you don't have to sell. You give the free sample, like in the bakery. Hey, can I have a free sample? Or in uh, the Costco, anyone's Costco member or supermarket, you go around and they have the, the ladies in the white, uh, you know, outfits and the hairnets, and they're giving a free sample. They don't have to sell. 
you know, what's this? It's stuff on a cracker. Ooh, that's really good. Boom, two pallets of crackers and, you know, the whole refrigerated section of the cheese or whatever was on it uh, all moves without anyone having to sell. So I love the free sample approach. Try out the Pilates. See how clean the place is. See how nice everyone is. See how the classes start on time. See how the instructors know their stuff and they're real helpful. See how everybody here is having a lot of fun. You can meet a lot of people. It's all enjoyable. Maybe you go out for coffee afterwards and you make some friends and you have all this great experience. And then what are you going to do? Not sign up? So love the strategy. And then the last one I'll share here. Oh, Kevin is here. Good morning, Kevin. It is a uh, direct mail Monday here and it is. Tuesday already for Kevin on the other side of the world. Phil Brakefield is here. They should name their studio Pontius Pilates, maybe over the Christmas season, and then they can wash their hands uh, of that matter. And uh, there, and and Kevin, man, I asked you to keep my looks out of this, but he says hilarious. All right, next is uh, man, I this is an educational piece because I did not know how to spell this word. Word, so you can imagine my shock seeing this arrive in my mailbox and going, what did that say? I thought the color fuchsia was spelled something like F-U-S-C-I-A or F-U-S-C-H-I-A. Or so. I did not think this is how it's spelled, and I'm not going to mispronounce this. Although nowadays, you see, you know, you got, you got all these uh, deranged people in America going, the president is unpresidential, and he doesn't have the gravitas of the office, and he's unfit, and he's vulgar, and they do this while cursing him out with their own four-letter words and being vulgar, and, but, you know, got to love American politics. And uh, so uh, this, a congressperson would probably uh, uh, call Trump this, but uh, I was just, I, was, I had to do a double take which again is really good for involvement. It's called involvement device. You want people to have a tough time reading your stuff, to spend a lot of time reading it, to have some reason to stop and read it. It's the opposite of a strategy when you're, uh, when you're, when you're uh, writing a sales letter. That is called a slippery slope. Give, thrown out some inside jargon here, but in the marketing world, you want to create a slippery slope with your copywriting. When you have a 20-page sales letter or a book, you want people to slide right through it and to not be able to stop. When you're placing an ad, you want people to slide right through the ad down to the contact information, the phone number, not stop. But when you're mailing a piece and this arrives in a stack of stuff that people are just looking to chuck, 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 you want them to stop and go, wait a minute, what is that? It says, what? It, it says, what's ya? Mother, what's ya? <laughs> and, uh, and so the offer can use some help to get serious and give a little critique of this here. Um, besides the fun, I like the fact that the color itself is the color of the place. The theme of the whole mailing is in that color, that purplish, pinkish color that I now know. That's actually how it's spelled. Uh, and... Uh, what I would do, I guess, I don't know. Is this offer irresistible or not? I'm guessing that women that get facials, massages, I could ask my beautiful wife, Michelle, would know that $59 and a free wax thrown in is a great deal. Maybe that's an incredibly great deal and it's irresistible. And my beautiful wife, Michelle, would go, I cannot, $59 for a facial or a massage? That's just unbelievable. Those are normally like $5,000. My estimation is that's not true that maybe it's normally 69 or 79 or 99 or you know maybe it's even 49 in some places and so first of all you've got to do when you do this you you want to do value selling maybe I would buy one as a gift certificate for Valentine's Day coming up my beautiful wife Michelle's birthday is right after Valentine's Day so I got double gift giving coming up and maybe I would go buy this if I had an idea and you told me that's normally a hundred and seventy nine dollar value then I could say well that's a great value but I don't know and it's possible somebody hasn't gotten a massage or a facial in a while or hasn't got one here or is trying to gauge often we prejudge by the price the value of the product or service so if you say hey you know hey uh, you know you walk in some lawyer's office and he's wearing a nice suit you say hey nice suit 
And he says, better be $3,000 tailor-made, whatever. Oh, ah, you have all these impressions now of the lawyer. Oh, he's got a $3,000 suit. First of all, the suit must be great. Second of all, the lawyer must be great. So he parks his Mercedes out front. He's got his $5,000 mahogany desk. He's got everything all done upright. He's wearing a $3,000 suit. He's sending forth the message, look how successful I am. Now, does that necessarily mean he's successful? Of course not. He could just be my client, watch my videos, be smart about marketing, and have put out about ten grand to make it seem, put all that up and make it seem like he's fantastic and get some clients. It would be a self-fulfilling prophecy. He would then become a successful attorney, and he could do that. Uh, I've been a little off base, but um, value selling means to tell your audience why that's such a great deal. Got plenty of room on the card here. Uh, so you could just say normally X value plus a free wax, which is normally X amount, and give a vanishing, give that vanishing bonus. So say the deadline the offer expires here two eleven nineteen. Oh, it does say now here. Choose from brow, lip, or chin wax. Value one hundred twelve dollars. Very nice. Now we're talking. So you free wax hundred twelve dollar value. First of all, I love the number 112. That's an involvement device too. It's not $99. It's not 119 or 109 or something that sounds like a normal price would. 112. Why 112? What's up with 112? Why that number? Now I got to think about it. I got to be involved with this piece a little more. But so I pay 59 for the facial and massage, and I get 112 dollar free wax. Now it's sounding bad. Now, if you t if you did that also, and you told me the value of the massage or facial, now it it does come up to where it might be two, three, four hundred dollars for only fifty nine bucks and a number of services. And I might say it's perfect for Valentine's Day. Which, by the way, why aren't you saying that for me? Maybe they are, but I don't think they are. Why aren't they on here? They're not. Why aren't they on here saying makes a perfect Valentine's? Day? Oh, here they have. Yeah, not sure what to get her. Fuchsia Spa gift cards make all gals happy. Purchase online or at the spot. But how about understanding it's a month of Valentine's Day and saying something about it? It's pink after all. Anyway, uh, with a few tweaks, you can see I could really help this card and without them spending an extra dime on the cost and the investment into their marketing, I could probably triple or quadruple the results. And so that's what I do for people. If you want me to help you do that, you go to helpfromsteve.com, and you get help from me, Steve. Imagine that, helpfromsteve.com. Uh, Phil says, way cool that the fuchsia guy used the color itself. Of course, right? And I would assume, because uh, they did, did, you know, that card isn't horrible. They're doing a whole bunch of things, right? And uh, I would assume if I walk into the fuchsia spa that the sign on the outside is fuchsia. The whole inside is fuchsia. I'm hoping that everything is fuchsia, the business cards, the website. I'm, I'm hoping everything is fuchsia. It's really smart. And as Phil points out, that's a memory jogger that, uh, what was the name of that place? But if you, you know, oh, I, is it pink.com? I mean, you know, that color is going to stay in your mind. So very smart branding, marketing, all kinds of stuff going on. Way too much to discuss here in a short video. Again, go to helpfromsteve.com or go talk to Phil because obviously he knows his stuff as well and will help you to get the hang of this stuff so you can make more money. Come on now, small business owners. You're working harder than anybody else. You're taking more risk than anybody else. I'm talking about the 90% of America. I thought I've, I've been saying, by the way, I ought to mention this now. I've been mentioning I saw a study that said 13% um, of Americans are self-employed. Now I saw a study over the break over the last couple of weeks it said there are 29 million small business owners in America and I think I, I should have looked it up there's 300 I think there's like 350 million Americans so that tells me there's about 1 in 11 Americans own a business which is about 9% so over 90% of Americans are either unemployed or by choice or you know they can't find a job or they don't want a job a housewife retired whatever kids going to school whatever it is but 97 Americans are not self-employed and only about 9% are so 9% of us work harder than anybody take more risk than anybody have more uncertainty than anybody we ought to be getting and we pay people we pay vendors we pay suppliers we pay taxes we pay employees we pay all kind we grease the palm there for all kinds of 
of politicians, and we ought to be getting paid well. I want to help you do that. I want you to make 2019 your best year ever. I want to help you do that. Go to helpfromsteve.com. That'll do it. Ace is here. Great seeing you. That'll do it for Direct Mail Monday, first one of the new year. 51 to go. But before the next Direct Mail Monday, I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. And I'll be talking about something that is in the news. And usually I tie that to a business lesson, once again, to help you make more money. Thanks for being here today. Thanks, everyone, for participating and watching on the replay. And thanks for all those likes, shares, the love, love it all, and the comments and everything. Thank you, everyone. You made it a pleasure, as you always do, to do my daily videos. I'll be back tomorrow on Topical Tuesday. Over and out. Bye-bye.